I've done a few different things, magazines, online, but really just about stuff that goes on in Europe and North America. And when you do that, it quickly starts to become familiar, writing about the same games all the time, the next Call of Duty, things like that. So coming here, it's just a breath of fresh air. It's, it's a reminder that when we talk about an international games industry, it really means an awful lot more than what we normally think of. Particularly in, like, in Europe, we talk about international, what we really mean is America, Europe and Australia and that's really it but there are communities everywhere in the world now and there, there are many right here in fact I've just been meeting people the whole time it's fascinating. I've been to the Middle East as a tourist before but I've never been here professionally um, I think it's, it's one of the best first years for a conference I've, I've been to it's a great venue you've got every part of the region represented so it does exactly what it sets out to do it's bringing people together um, I've just finished hosting a panel which was about community. We have people there from Bahrain, from Saudi Arabia, from Jordan, from all over the region. And when you can bring those, I mean, and they knew each other online, but that's the first time they've ever been in the same room together. Now, some of them have known each other for years, you know, and this is the first time they've ever met face to face. I mean, that is so important when you're looking at a growing market, because eventually growing markets always become the focus of interest from international companies so the biggest companies Activision, EA they want to sell their products here but what what developers here need to be able to do is when they arrive say look at what we're doing look at our games you know they can help them out and then as a result for helping them out they get their games out there to a wider audience and so it becomes this virtuous cycle. <laughs>